Okay, I want to explain the construction of a parabola with the use of rectangle. So we want to use rectangle method. So the length of rectangle is 120 mm, while the width is 100 mm. So I've partially drawn the rectangle here with the use of pencil, but I'm going to trace it out with the use of a pen. Okay, so So I'm tracing it out so that we can clearly see it. So this is the rectangle. So the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to divide the width of the rectangle into two. So 100 by two will give us 50. So I've partially drawn the line in the middle of the width of the rectangle. So I will draw a line. Okay, so this is it. So the next thing that we are going to do is that uh, we need to label this rectangle so let's call this point so this is a this is b this is c and this is d so this is point g so here is e and here we have what we have f okay so we are going to divide next thing we are going to divide the length of the rectangle into a number of equal parts and DE into the same number of equal parts with this and also CE with the same number of equal parts. So I want to divide this into five equal parts. I will divide the DE into five equal parts and CE into five equal parts. Okay. So 120 by 5 that will give us 24. 120 by 5 will give us 20, 24. So I'm going to take 24 on my ruler with my compass. So I'll take 24. So this is 24. So I'll start from here to make five acts on this line. So this is one. This is two. There is three. This is four. So last one, we have that. I'll do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, and we have five there. So I'm going to number this one, two, three, four, and five. And then, so this is one, two, three four and five okay so i'm done with that so the next one is i'm going to divide de into five and ce into five equal parts so uh, de is 50 mm 50 by five will give us 10 so i will take 10 mm to my compass take 10 mm so i start from here so this is 10 there's another 10 this is 3 and this is another 10 so next I'll come to this side and take 10 again it's 1 2 3 and 4 ok so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to number this also 
So this is zero. So zero is one, two. This is two. This is three. This is four. And here I have five. Three. And this is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw line. I will draw a line from zero, and I will join it with one. The line from zero, I will join it with two. The line from zero, I will join it with three. From zero to four. From zero to five. So this is it. Okay, that is one. So this is for two. So I'll do the same thing on this side. Do the same thing on this side. Three is one. This is two. This is four. The last one. This is five. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw vertical lines. I'm going to draw vertical lines from each of this point and start from here so draw a vertical line from here so draw a vertical line so the line okay next So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to uh, locate point on intersection of the lines. So this is line one. This is line one that we drew from zero, and this is line one on the vertical. So they intersect at this point. They meet at this point. They meet at this point. So line two from zero and line two vertical, they intersect at this point. They meet here, and then line three from zero and line three vertical they meet at this point line four from zero and line four vertical they meet at this point line five from zero line five vertical they meet at this point okay so we do the same thing on this side so this is the first point And this is the second point. This is this is the third point. This is the fourth point. And this is the fifth point. So these points we are going to join them together with the use of our French curve. With the use, with the use of our French curve, we are joining them together. So this is it. So set your French curve. So starting from zero, 
set your French core. So you join this and next you join this together. Next you join this together. And the next is join this together. And last one is this. Okay, so that's the first part. Next, I have this point from zero. So I'm going to draw this, join this together with zero. Last one. So join this together. Okay, so this curve is the parabola. This curve is the parabola. So this curve is the parabola that we uh, re are required to produce. So this is how to construct a parabola in using a rectangle method. So it's as simple as explained here.